Good day, everyone. Thanks for joining us here in the charts. You tune into the Market Beast Edition. Fellow Kambazide speaking. Today, we'll be exploring the GNUS, Genius Brands International. Uh, we're going to just revisit the power up zone or the power up projection cone, rather, just to see if everything's in line. I have some pretty interesting news for all of the Genius Brands family here. So gather around. Lord subscribers, welcome back. If you're new here, consider joining us. We've covered Genius Brands. And let's dive right into the charts here, shall we? All right. So today's April the 12th, 2021 and the current or the previous close of Genius Brands GNUS is going to be a dollar 65. It's down approximately 7.3% for the day. Okay. Love there. Nothing's going on in the post market there. 165 just uh 0.3. Yeah, it's it's weird, guys. Nothing's going on. All right. So here is the uh projection cone right about here. Okay, perfect. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, you guys are looking at the uh, projection power up zone that I've found. Uh, yeah, it looks weird. I know if you're kind of just stopping in. Uh, but basically, I was able to locate like the candles bodies as they're continuing to find uh, support and resistance. You know, at the lower line there at the support line. And of course, the overhead is resistance. And I realize it looks weird. But if you kind of look at the candles bodies like on a three day, like there's only wicks above the level until, of course, present day here, uh, March the 23rd, 2021 would actually try to follow through and break above the projection cone. And uh, yeah, the sellers are like, <laughs> no, you can't do that. And they just push the price all the way back down to the uh, support line. Now, just the, the news that I wanted to get to was actually we started to uh, build a position today back into the market. Hopefully there's some applause going on. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, we are back into. Uh, uh, the family we don't own stock guys we're buying contracts excuse me and that's what we have done today in the market and the reason that we've done that let me just explain to you exactly why uh, we have decided to enter the market um, if this is useful information uh, the previous level of resistance we were able to identify was right there okay at that green line now it's at 169 hopefully we left a link for the video so that you can actually listen in and uh, just verify that we actually said um, the market can reach down to that level 169 so I may say, but wait a minute, dude, it's a dollar sixty-five. So does that mean it's going to crash? Well, no, not necessarily, because these are the three-day candles. And uh, what you're looking at on the screen, ladies and gentlemen, is an active candle right here, this red candle right here. And the way that I time my entries is, guys, the, the market could be ready to fall lower. <laughs> this is not insinuating that I just made the perfect entry. So this, please be on the same page about this. Uh, but I just want to explain why I've entered. So since this is an active candle, and we still have uh, less than 24 hours to close on this three day candle. It closed today below the green line where I wanted to enter. So since it closed below that line on this candle and there's still one more day to close on this active three day candle, I am going to speculatively assume that what has taken place in the past, according to this small clustered area price action here, starting back from uh, January the 26, 2021 on this green candle, there's only been wicks at this line. Yeah, just wicks. So I think it's safe to assume that maybe history will, history will repeat again and it will likely close a candle's body above the $1.69 level and result in a wick only. Now, if it does not result in a wick and it actually closes the candle's body below this level, oh yeah, that's, that's not a good sign, guys. No, no, no. Yeah, that's, that's not a good sign. That's why we're kind of carefully entering ourselves in the market. But I just wanted to kind of throw out that brief explanation because remember, when I'm looking at candlesticks and price action, I'm always uh, kind of gearing my thesis or my market entry, market exit decisions based on something uh, that can be useful or that has taken place in the past. Hopefully that was useful for you guys. I don't know if that was like a learning curve or whatever, but that's the reason why we entered. So let's see how this plays out. So if Genius Brands actually closes above that $1.69 level tomorrow, it will result in a 2% move to the upside, like 2.5% move to the upside. Uh, that would be very interesting. We would like to enter more, but, you know, we just kind of take it one step at a time, guys. This is how we uh, play the markets. You know, we're never, like, going all in, but we do uh, put ourselves in a position of strength, I think. Okay, it's a down day, a really nice down day. We couldn't say no. So um, let's say, I guess I have to give you the bearish case, right? Let's just say it actually closes below that level. Um, that has it's never happened though, guys. Like ever since back, let's see, all the way back here. Even all the way back in March 2012. Like if we zoom in here, uh, for those of you who are new, we, we went over this uh, when we kind of started, but I'll just show you very quickly here. Notice there's only been like wicks. You see that? Like it's my 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 my, my uh, 
projection cone is pretty clean. I make sure it was placed perfectly. See that little camel's body there at um, April the 24th, 2020 at about 26 cents. So I just want to make sure that we're all on the same page in terms of uh, the accuracy or the placement rather for this projection cone. I mean, it's, it's perfect, guys. It's, it's close to perfect as I can get it. Okay. So if history will repeat, we, we should see the markets push up above $1.69 tomorrow on April the 13th, 2021. Uh, so that's pretty interesting to uh, it's going to be a Tuesday of the week there. So let's wait late and late. And let's just let's wait and let this play out. Um, if it continues lower, I guess I'll go ahead and give you the bearish scenario potentially somewhere right about there. A dollar forty four. OK, just be prepared for that. OK, if that takes place. Um, but if we do see a steady climb above the potential support line of this projection cone. OK, it just kind of continue to climb up here like that and of course we'd probably have to extend the uh, cone out to see if we can get an overhead target you're talking about two dollars and 87 cents depending on when it happens i really don't like throwing out like a lot of uh, random overhead targets hopefully you guys remember the the levels that we went over in our previous video i think it was like three dollars and uh 70 cents or something like that all the way up to like seven dollars there's a lot of sell orders overhead guys a lot of sell orders so you got to be prepared for that if it explodes to the upside and it gets rejected just know that the, the uh, market maker committed to taking care of the overhead sell orders okay hopefully this makes sense guys okay so that's all i wanted to go over with you all we have entered the market and it appears to be at a support level so there shouldn't be any more downwards pressure i mean if there is i'm i'm prepared hopefully you guys are as well and that is it for the genius brands international uh potential buy-in level right now today near the current level so hopefully you guys enjoyed that uh hopefully you guys are doing well leave an appropriate thumb and a comment to support the channel with the youtube algorithm so that we can promote the video on the channel here guys uh, and also if you're new before you go we'd like to send you out um, alternative markets if you're into bitcoin and altcoins subscribe hit the bell and we'll send you that so take care of yourselves protect your portfolios execute your strategies we're going to talk soon and bye for now